Okay, so I was planning on my next video being about taxes, but um, it seems like we're still dealing with this corona case, so I figured I should probably uh, give my advice on how to fix this issue. And really, if this is the serious issue that, you know, we're all assuming it is, I mean, it stopped the world. So it became a serious issue, right? So the best way for all countries to deal with this, states, uh, local uh, governments, whatever you have, little uh, village or individuals, right? Um, for every single person, the best way to deal with this is um, for testing. So that's really the only way that you can combat this successfully, and that is for uh, starting with, you know, obviously depending on how many tests that you can get, uh, you want to start on an individual level if you can. Um, you can do it. Um, governments, cities, if they can help, uh, you know, look to see where you can get tested. Everything should be um, open to everyone. It should be a right for an individual to be tested, and people should be tested regularly. And then uh, it's important for, since some places are at a state of emergency or using their military to combat this. Um, it's the best interest after they get tested. Obviously, you don't want to have anyone dealing with anyone if they have not been tested. But what they should be doing is you should be getting a test. Once that person has the, gotten the test back saying that they are negative for the corona test, uh, COVID, then they should be able to work again, right? That's that's when they should, that should be this, the only thing that is putting people back into the workforce is that negative test saying that they are no longer negative. And we don't need face masks, we don't need protective stuff, right? If we know that the only way that someone is coming back to work and working is because they received a test saying that they are negative for this uh, virus, right? That should be the only thing that is saying someone can work. All the essential workers should be tested. They should have that same same criteria, right? And uh, they actually should be the first ones to test it. The people that are going to the hospital, we know that they're sick, right? It's not a it's not as big of a concern because even then, there there's still no treatment for it or anything like that. So they're still treating symptoms, still treating all that kind of stuff, right? So. It sh the test should be prioritized towards the essential workers and towards the working force to help the economies of wherever you are, right? And then uh, as far as the quarantine process goes, um, if, if places are quarantined, obviously that's going to help control it, right? Um, it, but what you should do is if you are quarantining an area, right, it should be done by... Um, military that are trained in quarantine procedures right and it's all it all it has to be is uh, you send out uh, to the people that test positive right you just make sure that they stay at their residency right you have someone watching uh, their exits to the residency just to make sure you know it's not it's it's just to make sure, keeping everyone honest, right? So you just have them watch. There. There's no, there shouldn't be a severe punishment, right? If they don't, um, it's just for those people to be like, okay, well, hey, you need to go back inside. Um, what is it that you need? What can we help you with? Um, they should be providing them food, water, things from the store, all that kind of stuff, right? And these people should uh, be. Uh, reimbursed for having uh, not to work, right? So the companies, they can take the, the hit on the sick days, right? Pay it back once this person gets better, right? So that is the best way 
um, if your state, town, or city starts doing this thing, and you, <clears throat> or you as an inv individual starts doing these things, then we, uh, as a world, will not be in this issue. It's, I know everyone's probably feeling it because the way that it was handled and the way it's still being handled in a lot of places is not right. Um, with, you know, wearing masks, wearing, uh, you know, quarantining people without even knowing whether or not they have it. It's, it's, uh, it's not, it's not the best way. Um, unfortunately, I think it was the advice given by some people in certain areas because that's really what they thought was best. But we, we know that this is the way, the, the only way really to identify who has it, to identify where it is, track where it is, to contain it, and to eliminate it. So obviously you shouldn't be coming back into the workforce. You shouldn't be leaving that residency until those, uh, those people, you know, are tested again. And it can be, you can get, you can receive that test, you know, every couple days. So that's what we need to do. I, th I was thinking that my video was going to be, my next episode slash video was going to be on taxes, and that was going to be what it is, but this, I, I feel like the world needs answers, and so that's what I'm here to give, the, the answers um, to making our world peaceful and thriving again, so let's do it, let's get it done, right, spread this, uh, make it happen, and uh, we know that that's, that's what needs to get done. That's, this is the best way for us to combat this virus and really all viruses, but you know, we don't need to go to the extreme on all viruses. This one is uh, the one that we're after, right?